Hello everybody, my name is Phil Blazik, lead cover artist for uh, Axiom Systems Wrestling RPG called Upper Hand Wrestling. We are excited to talk to you guys about it, and I thought who better to bring in than the lead game designer, Zachariah Van Sliders. Shaving, uh, why are you shaving? Bow down to the, bow down to the king, the king of kings. You are definitely not the game. The game, Triple H. Nope. The Cerebral Assassin. This is just stupid. When Zachariah called me up and asked me to help him with his wrestling RPG, I had to take him up on it. Steph and the kids can be a bit much since my retirement, if you know what I mean. Why are you doing this to me, dude? <laughs> Upper Hand is a fast-paced, card-based RPG that allows you to experience heart-pounding moment-to-moment action inside the square circle without having to deal with the dipshits. I'm talking about you, Rock! We also designed an all-play system which allows players to experience the game from both sides of the coin, playing and game mastering. And what is that supposed to be? It's my 20 pound sledge. So, grab a copy of Upper Hand on Axiom System Wrestling RPG coming out on the 6th from Axiom Games LLC. You can pick it up at Drive Through Games at drivethroughrpg.com and don't click the hyperlink because we don't have enough money for a hyperlink. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Time to get your fix. Come on down, get your horrible gaming review. 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 Wow. Hello, my name is Zachariah with Old Man Gaming. Welcome to another horrible game review. As usual, a few disclaimers before we get into the meat and potatoes of this. Uh, number one, uh, the word horrible in the title of this video does not refer to the game or the DLC that I am reviewing, but it actually refers to the content itself. I do snap judgment reviews here. I get about five to ten hours with the game. I'm just trying to give you an idea whether you're going to enjoy this game right away or not. That coupled with the fact that I think video games are one of the most subjective forms of art, I do not give scored reviews here. Instead, I'll tell you the overview of what the game is. I'll give you the pros and the cons of the game in my point of view, as all reviews are. Then I'll tell you whether I personally will be sticking with the game outside the purposes of this review or not. So, that being said, we are doing Two Point Campus today. Two Point Campus is the follow-up to Two Point Hospital, Sega's, uh, I guess, a comedy hospital management game. Uh, it basically works like a lot of the builder management sort of sim games. Uh, you build a hospital by adding rooms, adding doctors, at, well, sorry, that was Two Point Hospital. Ah. Uh, with this, it's a college. You're building a college. You have a sim college. You build buildings, uh, and then inside the buildings you build different rooms, different classrooms. You hire teachers, you hire assistants. It is very similar to Two Point Hospital in a lot of ways. We'll be comparing it to it. It works almost the same. You can tell like the basis of this game is just Two Point Hospital almost reskinned. However, they've added some really interesting key stuff that's made this a little bit different. We'll get into it. Nonetheless, uh, you are tasked right off the bat with running a smaller campus, building it up, building up the rooms, uh, and slowly building up two, three stars. However, if you get it to one star, you can actually unlock the next little area on your map, which is then a new campus. So the first one's a country campus, the second one is more in a city, so on and so forth. Each campus presents new problems, new classes, new complications, and kind of adds another level to the task of building whatever you're trying to build. As you do it, you're trying to manage the amount of money coming in from the students paying tuition and other things, uh, while also trying to manage how much you're paying out to the people you're employing and the rooms and renovations that you're building. 
interestingly, they add kind of a third aspect in this one. Whereas Two Point Hospital, was, that was kind of it. This one uh, adds in whether or not your students are doing well, how much experience points they're getting, and actual social interactions with each other, which I actually kind of enjoyed. Definitely made the characters feel a little bit more real that we're running around instead of just pointless, almost graphics to kind of symbol symbolize people. You could almost get in touch with the people that ran around. And while you could do this in Two Point Hospital, there was very little reason to. Uh, I mean, click on a person and actually find out what their likes and dislikes are and stuff like that. Whereas with this, you actually want to, you actually get rewards from cultivating friendships between the actual students that are taking part of your campus. So clicking on them and figuring out what their likes are is actually helpful to you. It actually attaches you to the students going to your classrooms. In addition to that, uh, they actually send you requests, which then can help you clear goals, clear tasks, which will get you more money, more experience, uh, and more unlocks to do more tasks. What's also interesting about this is it really doubles down on the idea of getting to know the little me people, the little sim people running around in your on your campus, uh, because in two point can in two point hospital, it was all very temporary. Other than your employees, uh, patients came in, they got cured or they didn't, they died uh, or they left happy or they left sad. That was really it, and it was very quick. It was very straightforward. They were never there for more than a few days. With this, you actually have a tracker at the bottom of the screen that tracks the school year. Uh, and these students don't graduate for four years. They're four year, you're, you're running a four year accredited college. So with that being said, uh, these students actually stick around. They keep requesting things of you. You get to know them. You actually can help influence their grades, help influence what they're doing uh, after the campus thing. And of course, there is a bunch of comedy stuff to it, little quips, little jokes. Uh, none of the courses are like real courses. It's kind of silly courses because uh, it still has that kind of comedy aspect. I will say I didn't find anything in this uh, as funny as I found Two Point Hospital. I don't know if that makes my humor a little bit darker or what, but it's just something I noticed. Another thing this doubles down on, uh, I'm uh, sorry, another thing that gets added to this game uh, is course management. You actually get to manage the courses that your uh, uh, college teaches, um, which decides what students are coming in and doing things. Of course, in the first school, I kind of found that this was very locked, even though it felt like more freedom and a new system to play with. It kind of felt like these are the courses you can do because this is a beginner school and this is what we want you to do. And I feel like maybe the next classes, the next schools that I do will be the same thing, just more courses. And I really would have liked them to open that up a little bit more and let me play with that a little bit more. Um, that being said, in between each school year, you have kind of this indeterminate amount of time to build extra buildings, renovate your school kind of without worrying too much about the happiness of the people inside, and also change your courses, upgrade your courses, uh, and prepare for that next school year, which I found very fun and interesting in this game. So let's get into the pros and cons. I mean, that's basically it. That's the drive of this game. Uh, so what's the pros? What's the cons? Well, the pros are, if you like Two Point Hospital, you're going to like this. It is basically that, but in a campus setting. Uh, it's the same basic model of play. All the buttons are kind of in the same layout. It's very straightforward. Like I said, if this was a little bit less content, it would be a DLC for Two Point Hospital. It's that close in look and feel. Uh, but nonetheless, you will enjoy this if you like that kind of play. My next pro has to be the stuff they added. They made this more in depth and I've got to really point out the social aspect to it. It really makes you get attached to your students uh, and really figure out what makes them tick and how to increase their enjoyment of the school life, which I found really entertaining. Whereas the hospital one is much more a dollars and cents, how do I make the money that I need while keeping enough people alive to keep my rating high?
With this, it's much more about like getting to know the students and what they need to get the most out of their life, which is it's, it's very interesting. You get a little bit more attached to the kids, uh, to the characters inside, even though they're just kind of like run-of-the-mill sim people. Uh, my third pro is the accessibility of this. This game is a sim game, which to me is one of the more complicated kind of genres. There's always a lot of buttons to click, a lot of things to move, a lot of things to do. This game is a masterclass of how to make a much more complicated genre very accessible. I feel like this would be very easy to pick up and learn if you had never played a sim game. And if you were always thinking of that genre, thinking about trying something like that, this game or Two Point Hospital is the game to start on 100%. It will get you in, it will be engaging, and it will teach you everything that this genre has to offer without overwhelming you with stats and menus right off the bat. All right, with that said, let's hit them cons, okay? First of all, I didn't like this about Two Point Hospital. I don't think it's in my review, but it's just something that's irked me. Now that it's in the second game, even if I gave it a pass in the first one, I gotta mention it. I prefer a little bit more freedom with my thing with these kind of games. Um, this game has a very like you move to a new little area, a new little map, and then you do that one, and then you move to a new map, and then you do that one, and then you move to a new map, and then you do that one, and each one has its own like. This is what you're trying to get out of that college, and then you've learned that. Once you've unlocked all of them, and I'm not sure how many there are in the game, you can then go to just a free play mode, which I've never unlocked one of these be between either one of the games, because I get really sick of this kind of linear play style. I would much rather them have all this accessibility, but just let you pick a starting map, and then let you pick a starting hospital, and then let you build off that hospital anything you wanted, instead of kind of pigeonholing you into the type of map that you have. I would like a little bit more freedom on the aspect of the sim part of this. Um, and I understand that they probably did that for the accessibility, to teach you how the game is played as you go. I would much rather you do that with one map uh, than do that with like seven where just as I'm getting attached to this college, I have to move on to another college and learn a whole other set of things. It was the same with the hospital before. I never liked that aspect, and it's just something I got to gripe about. My other con is the humor in this one. I feel falls flat a little bit. Uh, I don't find myself giggling and laughing at anything in this game, really. Uh, I did find myself giggling and laughing at a couple of things at Two Point Hospital. I mean... They're all really kind of like childish, easy, punny humor, uh, but I don't know, something about this one just didn't hit me in my funny bone area at all, and with that I just kind of ended up rolling my eyes a lot. Uh, and I know that sounds old and cranky, but I'm cranky when I'm doing the review, so who knows, right? Alright, so finally, am I going to stick with this game outside the course of this review? Probably not. Here's why. I want a much more free experience. I want to be able to just pick a map and build the campus up as I want and then if I want a second campus just have another save uh, instead of the way they do it which is just almost make it like a linear level based thing. I don't want my sim games to be a level thing and both of the games kind of had that aspect. Uh, that coupled with the fact that this really isn't my genre preference wise uh, I enjoy these games f to an extent but they're nothing that ever really holds my attention for very long uh, and there's a there's a couple other releases that just are piquing my attention a little bit more so probably won't stick with this for the long haul that being said I don't think that being said if you are somebody who wants to get into the sims genre and it always looks too intimidating to you or <clears throat> or too complicated and you have Game Pass, try this game out and you will know right off the bat whether this is a genre for you uh, because this really shows you everything that a genre has to offer without kind of giving you that feature creep. All right, so I hope that helped everybody. Uh, either way, you can contact us on Facebook at OmegaMDH, on Twitter at OmegaMD9. You can join our Discord links in the description below. You can influence us in all of our shows from there. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so I'm going to keep watching this thing. I'll keep making them next week. My review of Midnight Fight Express. Very excited. See you guys then.